Wegańska żywność od lokalnej ludności. Wszystkiego najlepszego od lokalsów z Puszczy Białowieskiej. Dziękuję. Może dla pana truskaweczkę? Dziękuję. Od lokalnej ludności z Puszczy Białowieskiej. It's one of the most amazing places you can be in Europe. So simple as that. There's no other primeval forest in Europe. So simple as that. Okay, but if you want, I can say lowland, temperate, primeval forest, but it's too long. <laughs> Shortcut. <laughs> the Ovira Forest is a, a special place for many reasons. Uh, one of them is that uh, this is uh, the best preserved piece of the uh, natural forests on European lowland. In Europe, on European lowland, in the belt of the mixed deciduous forest, we don't have anything better. From the scientific point of view, is, this is kind of natural laboratory, you know, because the, the level of interactions be between different organisms is very high, very high. It's very complicated network of interactions between uh, plants, mammals, insects, birds. So, you'll be very welcome to my office. <laughs> One outstanding characteristic is the diversity that we have here. In Białowieża we have around 300 species of birds. Mm -hmm. We have identified around 3,500 species of mushrooms, for sure a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. 20,000 species of insects. And this, all this diversity shows that the ecosystem, the structure is amazingly good, it's so well done, it's working so perfectly that it allows life to exist. Sometimes we compare it uh, with Hubble telescope for astronomy. However, the difference is that Hubble telescope, anyone can build in any place if you have just enough funds. And the Ovisia force is irreplaceable. I feel that, that, I don't know, like 20 years from now, we will say like, yes, we had uh, occupation of the First World War, the Germans were cutting forests, then was that bad deal with, uh, in, in between Century. wars with Century Company, with English Company that the uh, Polish government did, and then it was okay, okay, even better, and then Minister Szyszko arrived. And it will be just part of history, what was three causes of the biggest devastation of forests in history. Mm -hmm. We only want to use uh, coal, and wood. Uh, they, are, they are making so much uh, around it. You know, I, I, at work we've got the um, magazine they produce. The State Forestry publishes it uh, bi-monthly and each two weeks uh, I see some article about it. They count uh, how much we can use, uh, and uh, th there is always a theory about it. There are some conferences where the ministers explains how they think it works, how the, the, the protection of the climate works uh, through burning uh, wood. I think it's worth uh, checking and uh, and uh, and showing to people how how wrong this idea is and uh, how greedy as human we are showing this uh, attitude and not only as humans but also as 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 uh, as Poland as Polish people. We need a different approach, different view for 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 the forest for nature not to only utilize it, not to feel like a, you know, super being which have to 
utilize everything. No, sometimes we have to think about this that we are only one element of the of the nature. Of course, more advanced, but maybe not necessarily everywhere and every time we should express or we should show our domination. 